and today we're heading to Trossix Trossix Holiday Park. I always forget something, so we're heading to Trossix Holiday Park over near Callender in Scotland for one night, and this will give us an opportunity to try out our windscreen cover uh, that we got from Rainbow Screens. It's a thermal screen, and that's uh, supposed to stop us getting condensation as well inside. Uh, the front of the windscreen so that'll be great and we've not had our Fiamma awning out yet so we're going to do that. It is only 9 degrees but we have brought the two chairs with us outside and we'll have a drink later on uh, under the, the awning and it's just another chance to get away, you know, just one night. Some people might not think it's worth it getting away but busy working all week so it's nice to get away away from the door and taking some of the countryside. I know some of you have already been to this site, some of the people that we follow on YouTube, so it looks pretty good. It's in the middle of nowhere pretty much um, and that's what we like to do. We get away and chill out just at two cells um, at night time if the weather's not so good and it gets dark early at this time of the year. We have uh, some movies downloaded got cards, backgammon, plenty of games and stuff and uh, yeah we'll catch you very soon when we get there. Hi everyone, that's us at uh, Trossix Holiday Park and uh, it's uh, a beautiful site. It's alright if you don't want to be in amongst the thick of things so I'm just going to show you the setup of the van as I keep promising you so here we are now. The, this is a, the van's all set up. We've got our screen from Rainbow, Rainbow Screens, it looks fantastic, has the Forest Camper Van Adventures logo on it and this is the design I picked to go on it. Put the view out over the 
the front there and I'll just show you. It's beautiful, surrounded by hills and grassland. So that is the, the front of the van. Uh, it's totally dark inside now, which is what we want. And that's it set up there. So, it's looking quite cool. That's it there. And then, first time we've been using the FIAM awning, so we've got our awning all set up. And although it is a wee bit cool, it's fine. We've got our two chairs out there, little table. And over here, the, all these pitches are service, so you've got your fresh water, your electric, and a wee light on there. And that's for your waist down there, a wee bit for your waist, and there's another bit on the other side of the van, so that's us all set up for the night. Pretty cool. Quite a good looking site, the way they've got it all spaced in tiers, so you've got the the whole level, each level seems to be about uh, six feet down, so you, everyone gets a view. So we'll have a wee wander around in a little while. Toilet and shower box just over there. So that's it. All looking fantastic. Love the awning, it adds that extra, that extra depth to it. So here I am at the back of the van. I did promise to show you uh, the back of the van. So this is the, the small shower, the cold shower we had fitted. So works off your normal supplies and it's just good for cleaning off dogs or boots as you see plenty of plenty of water coming out there so that is the the shower and basically it fits into this area here this box it's no hot on it so it's just it's just cold I've got a spare hose in here for filling up the water tank and there's lots of little cubby holes underneath with the electric heater that we use when we're hooked up. Got a pop-up basin, pop-up bucket. An essential now, COVID test kits, towels, loads of stuff all the way back into these seats. And over here, I've not uh, tidied it up yet, but we will be. And that's uh, for the solar panels on the roof. Gives you a good read out there, so. They're fully charged and they charge and trickle charge the batteries and that's the view out the top. So that's the back of the van. Hi everyone, that's us safe and settled at the Trossix Caravan Park. And uh, it's fantastic what mm -hmm. a view we've got. So cheers Ali. Cheers. Cheers everyone. Uh, it's a beautiful spot, great views. And uh, first uh, time we've got the Fiam awning out, it's amazing. What a, coverage you get with it so it covers our table and chairs that are sitting out there just now uh, and we've got fantastic views from the, the pop top roof right the way down and I think we're happy with the, the rainbow screen cover we've got to the front blackens out uh, the whole windscreen and there's a wee bit of light getting in down at the bottom but perhaps we need to tighten the, uh, the bottom part of it around the wing mirrors but it gives us all that space inside and then next week now when we get the swivel seat done it's going to give us a, a massive piece of room inside and that'll be good as well looks like a good site doesn't it, it does yep nice and clean yeah totally totally clean uh, although it is very busy i think a lot of these uh, caravans that are on the pitches down below us and further along are season holders so they'll leave the caravans here all year round but it's fairly quiet and we've got great views and uh, we'll have a wee drink later to celebrate, so catch you later. <laughs> Bye. Stop recording. It has stopped. Why is the red light flashing? <laughs> no, it's recording. It has stopped. It did stop the switching. Looks quite good. Nice weather. Oh, Caroline's going to get run over by the car. So. <laughs> I'm nice in the van <laughs> Yeah. More room for me tonight. Yeah, so we'll just go for a wee wander. Some nice chalets and stuff. And the weather's good. So let's go and see what we see. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
This is one joint in here. So the dryer. One pound for fifteen minutes quite expensive, but the washer is only three pound. Pretty cool. Four sinks and even an iron. Okay, so you want to get that suit for your night out and some wine or something there. Nice and clean. Road work now. Uh, got your male and female toilets. And it's good that it's got a family shower suite, which is handy if you want to do that. You get the key from the section you go in here. And yeah, all nice showers, one, two showers, toilets, sinks, very neat and tidy. Yeah, so the toilet blocks here were very clean, um, as Arlene was just saying to me there, the Perhaps the, the toilet area maybe seems a bit dated, but the showers have uh, pretty new in the mm -hmm. women's and yep. the gents. Nice and clean, they get cleaned regularly and there's timing on the boards in there that tells you when you can't use them uh, whilst they're in getting cleaned. There is some uh, holiday type uh, static caravans as well, but I think they are, there'll be a few uh, no doubt for rent, but uh, the majority will be owned. Um, they seem to be doing a bit of work extending the site further down the road as well. Um, there's some fancy little cabins there, I don't know if we'll be able to see them just over there. So they look pretty cool but they're definitely building areas for more caravans, which is good. All good in the camping site. Arlene looked at me there, so I was going to say a phrase, but I didn't. <laughs> but aye, some nice caravans. Uh, and as I say, each each level seems to be at least 6 to 10 feet up, so every, every van has a view. So that's just up at the uh, the very top of the campsite here, and Ali and I just went for a wander. And we wouldn't have one of these um, static caravans, but there's no doing this one, so I'll creep along the front. But the views, the views are just amazing. This is the top end of the, the site, and you can see into the distance here. What a view! Amazing, that's a nice one there with a the big decking area. Yeah, beautiful. So we'll stick to our camper van in yes. the meantime. And you've got all the, the forest at the back here. Arlene thought she'd seen a red squirrel, but I missed it. Oh, there's people coming now. I wonder why we're at the van, so <laughs> probably think. I think that we're uh, checking it out, so good job we got away from the window before they arrived. <laughs> quick go, quick go, the police arrived. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, top end is where you want to be. Also in the park are these little cabins. Um, you PVC on the outside, uh, plastic clad, and they look pretty smart. Nice for a, looks like they're smaller ones for just a couple. Nice weekend away in an older wooden one over there. We'll have a wee nosy and see what I yeah. But this is uh, the views over the park. That's uh, the building where you book in. It's got a small cabin. You can see they've got an upstairs bunk bed up there. 
the window. This is number six, I think. Uh, it's made by Swift, the same company who make the motorhomes. I've seen the badge on the side there. So I can't, don't know if that looks inside. You've got a small living room area with the uh, your kettle, tea, coffee, sugar, nice modern flooring, and then outside you've got your sort of decking area. Very nice. I would think these ones are here to be let out. Don't have a wee noisy around here and see. Security light. I'm going to back have a look. I don't think there's anyone in. If there is, I'll just wish them a happy new year. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's very nice. So, this is into the top cabin. Mezzanine bed area up the top. Little living room area, central heating, and a nice oven and stuff. Beautiful. And then there's the, the views you've got right across, across the park. Next door's got sky, so, and this one has as well, so it might well be somebody's house. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> but yeah, very, very nice. It'll be interesting to see if they do a rent on these for friends and family. Most of them are for sale and I've still got the decking in that to go around them, obviously. And I thought earlier on there wasn't a, a woodland trail, I was saying how they didn't have one, but there is a woodland nature trail, we'll have a look at that in a minute. So there is a woodland walk uh, up the back of the site here, so that's good, it'll take you all the way around there, round to the back, all good. There's Arlene. Tonight's dinner, we're doing a, or Arlene's doing a chicken, chicken curry. curry. Yay! Chicken curry and uh, ridge monkey. <laughs> Looks tasty. Again, it's another meal we've prepared before we left. Chicken, they've got a tikka sauce mix in there, mm -hmm. some peppers, mm -hmm. onions, a couple of other secret ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Jack Daniels. Mm -hmm. Looks like I'm needing a repo. So I was told no more Jack until after until after dinner. <laughs> so yeah, that looks good. It's coming along nice. Tasty, tasty. And the good thing is now that's the you can see it the window there, and then we've got the blackout on the front. What a difference that's making! It's amazing. So yeah, all good. Here we are. Mm. Looking good. Oh, my head off the, the roof there. <laughs> it's all amazing. We had a great night there. It was dead quiet. You could hear a slight noise occasionally from the road, but that's to be expected when you've got the, the pop top up. Um, but no, great sight. Chatted away to some people we met there. A mixture of camper vans, motorhomes, statics, and uh, touring caravans. So it was all um, it was all very good. We thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, we were going to go and have a drive round the three locks drive the, after we came out the site earlier on uh, because it's only about six miles away. Uh, up through the Dukes Pass beyond Aberfoyle, not too long and beautiful drive there but as I suspected it's closed for the winter months you can get part of the way up uh, and I think some people, we've seen a couple of a camper van and a motorhome up there who'd parked during the night um, but you're, you're unable to go around the three locks which is about an hour drive uh, with lots of stop off points, camping points and also uh, toilets 
Uh, we were going to have lunch there, but that's not possible now. So we drove back down to the Go Ape um, parking area, uh, which has a, a charge, but we're just going to sit in the van and uh, do our lunch here, looking on a small loch. So, yeah, so so very pretty, and, and we'll have a lunch and show you the view. Catch you later.